Good morning, everyone. On this Monday morning, November 1st, we have the Solemnity of All Saints. And I'm going to read from the first reading for today's important um, Solemnity. And it is from the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 7, verses 2 through 4, and then verses 9 through 14. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried, out, he cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, of which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What a vision John, the Apostle John is seeing of all these throngs of people in worshiping the Lord God and the Lamb. There is a marvelous little uh, excerpt that's in today's important uh, feast day, and it's found in the Magnificat. If you ever get a Magnificat, it's a wonderful way to kind of go through our days uh, of reading every day for the Mass, and it has on today's important solemnity this words. As marvelous as Christ's miraculous deeds were when he walked on this earth, healing the sick, raising the dead, consider the still more wondrous sign, signs Christ has worked ever since as the Savior and Redeemer of man and his saints. The ordinary men and women he raises up in every age to give their lives in service to God and neighbor. The patient and joyful heroism of the saints sustained through all matter of adversity testifies to God's quiet yet powerful action in those who are faithful to him. With their lives before us as an example, we confidently ask the saints to intercede with God that we may imitate their virtues just as they imitated Christ. All you angels and saints, pray for us. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. And have a blessed All Saints Day. Bye for now.